This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. Hey everyone, in this video, I'll walk you through how to ask Google to recrawl a page or a URL of your WordPress site. Now this is really helpful if you've just created a new post or a page and you really want it in search quickly, then you can do that. Also, it works well if you've just made some changes to a post or a page and you want Google to update that information on the site. And then also the third reason that this might be good is if you don't see your page or post in Google search results, but you think it should be there. Those are the three main reasons why you might want to do this. Now, by default, the first two are handled by having an XML sitemap set up, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Having the XML sitemap, that just gives an area for Google to see a list of all of the pages and posts that are on your site. And they'll go off of that whenever they get to crawling your site. But a lot of times people want to do it quickly. And so these methods will work for a quick turnaround to getting your page or your post crawled in Google Analytics. Now, the first thing you want to make sure you have is you want to make sure that you are set up on Google Search Console. If you're not set up yet, then go ahead and watch this video on how to get connected, your site get connected to Google Search Console, and then you can come back and do this. And I'll be honest, it's one of my favorite things to do when I'm creating content on my site and I want to just see the results in Google. So let me show you an example. I'm going to go to my dashboard and under pages, I've created somewhat of a new page recently and it's the testimonials page. So I'm going to grab this right click and copy because it's a new page that I don't think is in Google Search Console because I just made it this morning. So what you want to do is once we grab and copy that link, we can go up here to the inspect any URL and I'm going to right click and paste that. And once you paste it, go ahead and hit enter. And then it's going to retrieve that data from Google's index. And you can see it's not in the Google index yet. It tells you that it's not. And from here, we can request indexing. And what it will do is test it. If it's if a live one has been indexed, it might take a few minutes. Oh, and you see that it has been rejected. So I'm going to see why. Now I know why this is because earlier I was creating another video on how to stop search engines from searching your site. So if you get this, then you'll want to make sure that something is set properly in your website. So let's go back to our dashboard. And one of the things that we can look at is settings, reading, and sometimes this is set to discourage search engines from indexing the site. So make sure that that's not checked. That's always really important to do. And then what we can go in here and we can try that again. So I'm going to click on that. It'll retrieve the data from the index. It says it's not indexed. Let's go ahead and request indexing and make sure that this works this time. And you probably won't have this problem, but if that's an issue that you run into, that's what you'll want to look for. Now you see that the URL was added to a priority crawl queue and that it'll be indexed quickly. Now it might take a few minutes, it might even take a few days, but by and large, I've seen that this happens very quickly once I submit that, usually the same day, usually within the hour, and it really just depends. Now say I made changes to this one. I did the same thing. I put it into the inspect URL and it says it is in Google's index. You see down here, it says it's been crawled and it's asking, has it been changed? Then we can still request indexing. So both of those two methods work super well to get your page or your post and Google's index fairly quickly. Now in step two or method two, we're going, I'm going to show you how you can submit a sitemap. And this is just like an indication of Google to Google of all of your URLs that you have on your site. And the easiest way to do that is by installing the Yoast plugin to make sure that that's working. So let's go over to our plugins area and you should already have this. You probably already have a, an SEO plugin installed. Most people use the Yoast plugin. So this part is probably not something that you need to do. If you don't have Yoast installed, then there's a detailed tutorial in the description below of how you can get it installed on your site. I won't cover all the details of it, but once you have this set up, you can either go to settings or you now have an SEO tab here that we can go to general and set some things up. So we want to go to general and you want to go to features. And from here, you see all the features that are set up. What we're looking for is the XML sitemap. 
And if I hover on the little question mark here, we get this, that Yoast will generate the sitemap for us. And we want to click and say, see the sitemap. So I'm gonna open that in a new window. And this is our URL where our sitemap is. And you see these are all of the posts or pages with the sitemap of all of the URLs that we have. So all we need to do is grab this sitemap index.xml. And what we wanna do is we want to copy this whole thing. So I'm going to right click and copy. And then from here, we want to go over to our sitemaps area. And if you've never done this, then you'll want to right click and paste your sitemap and then submit it. And then you'll submit it to Google and Google will have it. And that's what they'll use as a reference to crawl your site. So we've already done this. And it's just saying that Google, as you see, periodically will process it and look for changes. So adding the sitemap, that's super great because any changes that you make to your site, this sitemap changes and updates accordingly. For instance, if I go to my page sitemap, you see here the changes that were made. I created this new page here, and now you see the last modified date. You also see if you make any changes to these, the last modified date would show that as well. And then to take it even further to a level is you'll want to install Monster Insights. And once you connect your Monster Insights, you can see things like your search console information. These are, say, your top terms that are popular on your site. You can also do an overview of how your site traffic is doing here by looking at the overview. And as you can tell, I didn't have it installed. So you can also see any issues that might be happening either did my traffic go down because something's wrong with my site or did my traffic go down because I don't have the proper Google Analytics set up? Monster Insights will show you several things on your site. Just head over to monsterinsights.com and use promo code WPBVIP to get 50% off Monster Insights. And thanks for watching.